Hello everyone, this is Walter Fate, and it looks like I'm here to bring you a weekday video. This is something new. I have no idea if people are still willing to watch videos and bad Kickstarters in the year of our Lord 2017, but I guess we'll see. I am also on a new microphone, so I'm experimenting a little here. It's a little known fact that if you acknowledge your video's problems, it's perfectly fine to put out a shitty video, so let me know. This has to be one of the most delusional things I've ever seen. Bodycopter. With the funds you donate, we will build a manufacturing model and get engineering and legal work done. Tell your friends. Well, I obviously don't have any friends, but I guess I'll tell my viewers now. Are you ready for the bodycopter? Over half a century ago, a Weekly Reader article told us that one day we would have theme parks, desktop computers, and flying cars. So far we had the first two. Don't you think it's about time we had the third? Uh, I guess so? Personally, I feel like people have enough problems driving, and it's probably best if any flying cars could drive themselves, but let's be real here. This thing isn't a flying car at all. It's kind of like Inspector Gadget's gadget copter. He gets into all the specifics about how this is going to work at this point, but I'm really stupid mechanically. I'm qualified to make fun of a Kickstarter, but I have no idea how to build a flying car. This Kickstarter does actually have a video showing off the prototype he's created from the past 15 years of hard work, though. Okay, as you can see, he's got this device that's kind of a chair with a blade spinning above it. However, this isn't a test flight. I think he's just showing off the fact that the blade does, in fact, spin. This is the only video on this Kickstarter. Okay, so that video doesn't really fill me with the most confidence about the project, but it's especially funny when you combine it with the fact that this guy is looking for two million dollars. Spoilers, this project wasn't quite successful. It's a pretty lengthy Kickstarter and all, but I'm having trouble telling exactly what the point was. The highest reward tier is only $100, so he's not using this to try to sell body copters, but he did mention trying to build a manufacturing model. Now, the rewards are where this project really shines, but we're going to have a short look at the risks and challenges first. I've been working on this project for 15 years and cherish every frustrating moment it has consumed. The aeronautical academics have told us, in order to perfect the body copter, we will have to do trial and error ground testing, since computer analysis isn't completely reliable with multiple airfoils. We will face challenges of flow separation above 40 miles per hour in horizontal flight, but that may be fast enough and may not be a concern in the beginning. When we do want to go faster than that, Penn State is working on a solution concerning a double fan shroud we may be able to incorporate. We are planning for the bodycopter crafts to fly in sport, local, and regional transportation mode for several years. There are no problems to be overcome in these areas. Full-size crafts will have airbags, ballistic parachutes, backup power, and or the ability to land on water. God, I feel like there might actually be a few problems that haven't been addressed yet. I know things like this have been made before, but there are going to be a lot of legal problems with it, realistically. You can't even fly a small-sized drone in most places, and you can't use one commercially without a license, so you can only imagine how much of a mess the laws governing this death trap would be. Though they did specify that some of the $2 million goal would be used for legal purposes. I like how he assures us that the body copter is going to have parachutes when it's planned to only fly slightly above the trees. Not sure what the airbags are supposed to help with either. Now, he does know that $2 million is going to sound like a lot, but if you were to just do the math, if only 20,000 people each donate $100, they'll have enough to develop the prototype. I might not be the market for this because I don't really even have $100, but you're going to have to see the reward tiers to understand just how delusional this all is. I'm sure he's thinking, hey, there's got to be 20,000 people who want their own flying machine. Despite the fact that it's not a flying car at all, like he said, I'm sure he's right. Who doesn't want to be able to fly? The biggest problem here is that it's only to make this one guy's prototype. I see no reason to think that would lead to you getting your own body copter. And what does he even offer for these 20,000 people he wants $100 from each? Well, let's look at the first several reward tiers first. Besides our heartfelt thank you, your reward for donating at this level is a full-color, high-resolution, numbered JPEG photo file of the Bodycopter World's first test flight, signed by the inventor, and a bronze-level certificate with your name and donation printed on it, also signed by the inventor. Both will be emailed to you. So, besides their heartfelt thank you, you don't get a goddamn thing, basically. Full-color and high-resolution JPEG photo file? Ah oh, man, I usually spend $10 to get a low-resolution JPEG, an artful black and white. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't signing and numbering something kind of pointless when it's just a photo file they're copying and emailing you? 
They did try pretty hard to make it look like you were getting something, I guess, but I still can't imagine how stupid I'd feel putting reward tiers like this on my Patreon or something. Hey, donate $10 and I'll send you a high-resolution photo of myself laughing straight to the bank. I'll even digitally number them, that's a steal, guys. As you can imagine, the $25 tier is the exact same as the $10 one, except you get a silver level certificate instead of bronze. Which doesn't matter because it's not real anyway. $50 tier will get you the gold level certificate, as I'm sure you're assuming by now. It'd be kinda hard to feel like those extra $40 were worth it if you pledged to that tier. Okay, so this must be where it gets serious. From that statement about 20,000 people giving $100, he obviously thinks the $100 tier is where it's at. He probably put all of the thought and work into this next one. Okay, so the $100 tier will get you the same, but it's a platinum digital certificate, go figure. But also the greatest prize you can imagine for $100 of your hard-earned money. At this level of donation and above, you will be placed on our emailing list and receive updates concerning milestones in our progress, testing and getting products to market. Yes, getting put on his emailing list is the ultimate reward this Kickstarter is willing to give you. You know, the emailing list, that thing you always make sure to check off when you join a new site because who wants random emails all the time? That thing that it would only benefit him to have as many people on it as possible. He must have been confident. I'd be a bit more worried asking strangers for two million dollars if this was all I was offering them. All in all, we can see that not a single thing in these reward tiers actually cost the guy a cent. Now, he might have had to hire someone to edit all the certificates and photos if this actually got funded because two million is a really big fucking number. Speaking of which, let's break down his numbers. Four people contributed to the $10 bronze certificate tier. That's fine. There are worse ways to throw away $10. Hell, some people have actually gotten me to draw them for similar amounts, so this email might be a slightly better value than that. One person, who is definitely not the creator trying to make this look like a project people are interested in, pledged $200 to join the mailing tier list. And I can't get over that tier. What a slap in the face. He either doesn't understand Kickstarter at all, or he must think everyone in it has more money than brains. I have now mocked almost everything about this Kickstarter, aside from the author personally and the science. I can't speak on any of the flight stuff he's talking about, or I definitely would. There is one more thing. We have a very sparse frequently asked questions section, with one good question but not the greatest answer to it. Why don't you try to lift off? I have to extend the shroud 1.5 inches. God, call me uneducated, but why don't you do that and have a video that actually shows something before you try to beg for an insane amount of money? Especially considering those rewards. The video you have is essentially nothing. I might have been less inclined to cover this if it hadn't been for the complete lack of evidence that this thing's ever going to work. This author has three unsuccessful projects under his belt, all seemingly based on the same concept. Well, that's about it for my first episode of Failed Kickstarters. I'm not sure if I'll continue this series at this point. That might depend on reception and whether I find any Kickstarters I really want to make fun of. This week wasn't so great at work, but I will be back on the grind with more incel content by tomorrow night. And I have some really good stuff to use too, so watch out for the next video. My voice is probably a bit off here. As I said, new microphone, but I hope to figure it out a bit better soon when I'm back in my normal setup this weekend. I'd like to thank everyone watching, all my old and new subscribers. If you're completely new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for more of the same kind of thing. Plus incel content. Everyone loves incel content. Special thanks to a new patron, Alatuna Dan. I'll be shouting out all patrons tomorrow as always, but this guy helped me out with some information I'll probably be using in that video. I always appreciate tips that I might be able to use. I would suggest Twitter if you want to talk to me. Link will be in the description. Thanks so much for all the support, and I will try to come up with a 3,000 subscriber special by the time I hit that number, but feel free to offer suggestions. Have a good night, everyone.